Hey, what's up, world? Welcome to another episode of the Team Sock Passe Podcast. My name is Glad. And I'm your boy, Rob. We are your favorite Team Sock Passe Podcast show where we interview great entrepreneurs from all sectors of industry. Remember, subscribe, share, comment below. Subscribe, share, comment below. Now it's Women's Month and we've got our good friend, Miss Sarah Jordi of Soul Scorpio Cosmetics. Yeah. Hello. Hello, round of applause, hello. Round of Say applause. what's up to the people. What's up, everybody? Fresh from Texas. Thank you for having me. Wow. Yes. Straight off the, off the flight. Off the flight. <laughs> okay. Off the flight. Off the flight. <laughs> Look, we really appreciate no you problem. coming out of here. Of course, um, of course, of course, of course. Since we launched, you know, you reached out to us. You said, you sure know, did. you know, you want to get on to talk about what you got going on. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And, you know, we was just all about scheduling, and it's yes. just perfect timing that we're doing this we around did. Women's yes. Month. And we yes. made sure that it happened for yes. sure. Perfect. How was your flight? My flight was good. Yep. It was good. That's yeah. You know, Texas is weird because they don't have direct flights. Mm. A lot of times they don't have direct flights from Houston mm. at a Bush airport. How do you usually fly? JetBlue? Um, yeah, either JetBlue, Delta, okay. Okay. and then American. But this time it was American because okay. I needed an early flight right. to okay, make okay. it on time. Okay, okay. Cool. So um I was just like, okay, I had a layover in Charlotte. It was mm. like 30, 40 minutes. Mm. By the okay. time I got off the first flight. I just had to go straight to my gate, and okay. then I got one. Okay, so cool. it wasn't too bad. How all. how's the transition been? Oh, the transition has been very different. Mm. It's a very different environment, um, as far as people, the accents, the you know, everyone that I've met in Houston, they're not originally from Houston. Really, they're from the surrounding states. Okay, Louisiana, Mississippi, Oklahoma, uh, Alabama. So <laughs> there's a melting a, pot. But there's, but there's a lot of people that <laughs> us New Yorkers are down there. There's really? a lot of New Yorkers down there. There's a lot. Okay. A lot, yes. Really? A lot of people they got, from they got Long the Yankee, Island, too. They got the Yankee fitteds. They got the accent. And they're you like, know, and like listen, I'm from New York. Yo. <laughs> the accent, they be like, big dog. Oh. Big dog. Big like, what's dog? up, big dog? Big like, dog. they saying big dog, okay. but it's like, big dog. <laughs> no, nah. so they from no, New York, but they're trying to sound southern. Listen, no, that's just the southern people, but the New oh, Yorkers is like you okay. could always know because they're like, mm, you yeah. from New York? Nah, yeah. son, and I'm like, son, yo, son, chill. maybe, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Why yeah. do you want to know? Who want to know? Who want a big, so, yeah. big dog? Okay. Big dog. <laughs> big dog. How? So, go ahead. How? How? How's the tra- like? When did you move? December. Oh, Officially so just December first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Just recent. Fresh. Fresh meat. Sheesh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how are you liking it so far? It's good. It's, it's good. good. Okay. I've been right. out every weekend. Networking. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, but networking right. wise, networking. because it's okay. so good to network down there because everyone is a business owner and everyone is a black business owner, which mm. makes it even better because mm. it's just like, we actually have something that we could relate to. Got so, you. um, and everyone is like really supportive. A lot of people are just like, oh. Let me know. What's this? Let me. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to order this. Yeah, let okay. me know, you know? Or even if you want to sit down, have dinner, have drinks. We could talk about business. We could do this. You know, get to know one another. Because That's good. at the end of the day, it's like, if we're all from the same area, we're all going to want to stay together. True. Because it's like, despite whatever differences that we may have coming from New York, whatever it is, if you live in different boroughs or not. Right, right, right. We from New York, from New York at the end of the day. Right, right, so right. we have to stick together. Right. And it's just the energy is different because everybody is so willing to be open minded and just ready to support. Mm-hmm. It's natural. I don't know mm-hmm. if it's just the change of scenery that makes it natural, but it's just amazing. So it's like the new Atlanta then. It's you know, young black entrepreneurs. Welcome to New Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> um Hot but it feels some, something <laughs> like that, huh? Yeah, um, yeah, but Atlanta, it does have a different feel too. But when you're in Atlanta, you know, when you're on vacation in Atlanta, you mm-hmm. have that different feeling. Mm-hmm. So Texas does give you that different feeling too. Gotcha. So it's very similar, very similar, but they're more southern. Right. They're really southern. Southern, in like Texas. The, the barbecue and the. Yes. I love me some barbecue though. Yes. I ain't gonna lie though. You'll find a lot of barbecue Ooh, places. Some, need some wings, some barbecue. <laughs> I've never been to Texas. 
Texas but, is a vibe. I've been there one time. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. But we it's go. hard to go it's, back to being pescatarian living in Houston. I, yeah, and everybody. It's very can, hard. Yeah, I heard. I heard. And yeah. everybody's like, I'm back in the gym consistently because I'm like, wait, no, <laughs> um, I got to work this off. And everybody's packing. Packing like, what? Like they have. Oh yes, you got to be very carry. careful. It's open yeah. Carry. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's yeah, carry. Yeah, yeah. It's open season out there. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Eventually, I'll be in the, you know, in the. You know, and practicing in the range. That's what's up. I'll be right, that's practicing. What's up. That's yeah. What's up. Um, just to be on the safe side, you okay. know, yeah. smart, but not to come out of the house. No. Gotcha. No. gotcha. But it is open what, carry. Yeah. Uh, what's the compa vibes like out there? Compa where? <laughs> there is a there is a there's a comp, there's a, uh, a a Houston Haitian where put me she, on. She, she'll Let be me able know. to tell you she's out there. No, there is one that uh, um what. They invited us to do a party out there one time. Oh, you mean an organization? There's an organization out there in Houston with Haitians. Well, let me know. Let me okay. know who they are. Since okay. you've been out there, you haven't been to any combat parties or nothing out there? Soka, yes. Okay. They're oh, really? Big, Soka's They're big? getting big on the Soka events, yes. Really? Okay. They actually have a Soka event going on this weekend and next weekend. Nice. I've been to like two Soka events since I've been there. Okay. Um. Yeah, but Haitians, where y'all at? Y'all need to come down. See? See? Texas, we need more Haitians. <laughs> Stop playing. Yes, Haitians, right. I'm. I'm there. Let me know. <laughs> so, Soul Scorpio Cosmetics. Mm. Yes. Yes. This is my baby. Um, this is your first time being an entrepreneur. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be good. This. Yes. Uh, this is gonna be good. Mm. What in your right mind <laughs> <laughs> made me go this way? Yes. That's a good <laughs> question. Go ahead. I like that. I like that. I like yeah. that one. This, I like that. This I like podcast that. it's about entrepreneurship, right? Right. Mm -hmm. We uh, yeah we interview celebrities. Yeah, we interview inter influencers, but mm -hmm. this is for entrepreneurs because we know a lot of entrepreneurs. Yes. People doing great things in mm -hmm. different sectors, right? Right. And it's like inspiration. We it's to right. inspire that next person out there who wants to be an entrepreneur. Of course, this is your first time being, and we're gonna talk about this. First time, you got bestsellers here. Yeah. What in your right mind said to yourself, "I'm I'm gonna wake up and say I'm gonna be an entrepreneur." Okay, so <laughs> the day that I actually woke up and said, "Okay, I'm gonna go get this LLC," um, I was sitting on it for a while. I had it planned, um, and before I actually got the LLC for this, I was doing um, lashes. Like, I was in the process of learning how to do lashes mm -hmm. and everything, mm -hmm. um, and then that's when COVID hit. Mm. So I was like, wow, I couldn't even legitimize my business before COVID hit. So that was discouraging. I you were in New York? Yes. Okay. And mm -hmm. at the time when COVID hit, I moved in the middle of COVID, so I moved to Jersey. Okay. First apartment, you know, about to hit 30. I was like, oh, nope, I got to get my own place, you know. So COVID hit. And I'm like, ain't nobody going to want to come get their lashes done in the middle of COVID. Mm -hmm. Are you positive? Like, what's going on? Put mm -hmm. your mask on. So I was like, no, um, we're not going to do this. Mm -hmm. So I ended up developing um, adenomyosis. So adenomyosis is basically like your endometriosis, your PCOS for women. And um, I was having bad acne, very, very bad mm. acne. Like it was like a little roller coaster on my face, bad. So I was very insecure about my face and everything. And I was like, you know what? Like I need to find some different remedies for my face. Mm -hmm. So I was trying... You know, all the big brands. I think I was trying a brand called Butter. I was trying Fenty. I was trying Curology. And those are expensive brands. You know, after a while, you're getting, you know, right. you're paying for them. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. And no shame to those brands at all. But everyone's skin is different. Right. So I was like, this ain't working. So what's next? So I'm on Google. I'm like, natural remedies, clear acne, clear hyperpigmentation, you know, flares. So at the time, what I didn't know is that the adenomyosis is what was making my acne so bad. So with adenomyosis is basically when the endometrial tissues are growing on the outside of the uterus rather than inside the uterus, which at that point is called fibroids. Ah, so for ah. three years, I was misdiagnosed with fibroids and all they had to order was an MRI to verify if they were fibroids. So, so my it wasn't. It wasn't fibroids it wasn't for, for, fibroid. for three years, wow. for three years. Yeah. So 
I went and got a third opinion because the second opinion that I got, they wanted me to do a procedure. And I was like, this doesn't feel right. So I was like, you know what? Let me find someplace else. Let me get a third opinion. And at the time, I was still living in Jersey. So I drove all the way back out here to Forest Hills. And I found an office. And they were like, okay, well, we're going to verify this. Let's order an MRI. And once I got the results, they were just like, you don't have fibroids. You have adenomyosis. And I'm like, what is that? <laughs> like, what, mm -hmm. what is that? I've never heard that before. Mm -hmm. It sounds like endometriosis, but it's different. Mm -hmm. So it's when the um, tissues are growing on the outside of the uterus in the muscles rather than inside. Wow. So it's a whole different procedure process. So the same way that they actually shrink the fibroids with the UFE, which is a uterine fibroid embolization procedure, they do the same procedure for adenomyosis. So they go in through your nerves with like a little camera, a little whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not in medical field, but um, they go in through your nerves. So with me, they went through my wrist. So they went through the wrist all the way down into the uterus and they like shrunk. They like burned off all the, um, the nerves okay. that were wow. making these tissues grow, wow. which was causing a lot of heavy cycles numbness in the legs, severe back pain. So you would have thought I was having a baby because wow. I'm like bedridden, you know, throughout my cycle days. So um, the procedure completely helped me. Um, but as far as my skin, I still needed that extra push for my skin because it's just nothing was working. So I started off, did my turmeric soap. I'm like, okay. We getting consistent with this, is working. And then mm. I was just like, well, everybody likes my turmeric soap, so let me just continue this. Let me see how it goes. And then that's when I was like, okay, well, we just gonna we're gonna legitimize it. Let's go. So you were, were getting a see. good you were getting good feedback from Yes. But I actually I actually did it first. I actually got my LLC first. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, we'll see how this goes. Mm -hmm. With me just using my products and my immediate family and friends. And everyone loved it. Everyone had such good feedback about it. And I was like, okay. And how fast did you see? I'm sorry. Okay. How fast did you see a turnaround after you were using the, the turmeric soap? Consistently. Because, you know, consistency is big. So a lot of times we fall off. Mm. So I fell off, got back on. So I want to say in like. Three weeks, I saw a difference in my skin. Like the flares weren't as bad as they were before. So I was like, oh, okay. Now it's just targeting the hyperpigmentation, mm -hmm. okay. you know, because like these little bumps that I have on my face is not real right. So it calmed that down. And then after consistency and additional products, that's when I saw a difference with the hyperpigmentation. So you created. So how did you learn about the turmeric soap? Uh, everything was online. It's just a matter <laughs> of trial and error. Okay. Everything is on the internet, honestly. Right, right, yeah. You want to yeah. learn how to change your tire. It's on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube you know? University. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, for sure. Um, I know a few years ago I had a Jetta and I wanted to change um, the filter inside, like the cabin filter. Mm -hmm. I went right on YouTube. So um, a lot of things, learning how to make so soap is very very detailed and if you don't get your measurements right it's chemistry if you don't get your measurements right it's gonna fail great. and i've had a lot of failed soaps <laughs> great segue because you're not a are you a chemist if you i are, am not a chemist okay. at so, all i didn't even take chemistry <laughs> so i mean none of this stuff here and we're going to talk some more about this in detail but none of this stuff is like private label you make this stuff from scratch yeah Wow. Mm -hmm. So you guys you just order the you order so the soaps are made out of oils. It's oils and lye. Talk about that trend. Like okay. <laughs> like <laughs> So that's plain Jane. So that has no fragrances, that has no additives. It's just plain. For all the sensitive skins, that's plain Jane. Plain Jane. Plain Jane. Plain Jane. And you named all these soaps yourself. I named all my soaps. That's so clever. Yes. So you got the lab coat on. <laughs> you're, you're, I actually yeah. need a lab coat. Because <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Like, Yeah. It took yeah. a lot of trial and error okay. and a lot of reading, a lot of um, you know, other soap makers out there. There's a lot of soap makers out there, too. Yes. It's right. like when you get into your, your niche, that's when you realize, oh, there's other people doing this. And there's a whole community out there that's willing to help you. Mm -hmm. So um, 
definitely it was because this I is the like, move right now yeah. i mean, I mean yeah. it's, it's, it's natural all organic, oils yeah all so organic. it's so olive oil um grapeseed oil all these natural oils that we use for anything else is what's in my products okay. essential oils lavender um sweet orange eucalyptus uh peppermint everything natural you could think of is in these products see i told you the grapeseed oil babe that grape <laughs> yeah. yeah the grapeseed there's, there's some grapeseed in every oil so wow yeah. nah, that's what's up now nah, this is this yeah. is this is so cool so the so the lye and the oils goes through a, a process called saponification so that's what turns it into the actual Soap. And you have to say that again? Yeah, please. Saponification. Sun, sun. Don't ask me to spell it. Sac- oh, it sounds like saponification. Yeah. Yeah. Saponification. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> right, Joe? Yeah, saponification. Yeah, yeah. Saponification. Yeah. Saponification. Okay. Saponification. 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 Uh, how yes. long did it take for you to research and how to do this application and apply Ooh, the soap and take the time? I, it's, it's still a learning process. It's mm. still a learning process. Um, you learn something new every day, like mixing different colorants and different is it, it's, it's still something that I'm learning. Cause mm. you went, I mean, you start, which one, this is the tumor. Which one is the tumor? No, so? the turmeric is this one. This okay. one right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you started off with this, mm-hmm. but then you got so much inspiration that you got a whole line of stuff. In yes. It. And yes. this is all natural stuff. All natural. All dedicated for some yes. specific. And all, so the only thing that has a preservative inside of it is the African black soap mm-hmm. foam cleanser. Mm-hmm. And it's is... a all natural, that one, the foam, the one next to it. Mm. Okay. And it's a, a natural base preservative. So it's not like it's a, it's like a harsh on the skin type of preservative is really natural because you can see the separation. Mm-hmm. So once you mix it up, you know, you have all everything, all the materials, all uh, the ingredients is mixing back in together, but it settles like anything else. Okay. So this soap, uh, I could take a shower with this or this is just for your face? No, face and body. Face all and my body. soaps are face and body. Face all okay. my soaps, yes. But they're, they're, it just targets different different things right because this one's plain yes, jane plain so jane. this is for sensitive skin this is for anyone who doesn't do fragrance on the skin if their skin reacts to any kind of fragrance that would be the best one okay so like, that's plain jane. like okay. eczema so i have oatmeal soap uh okay. x oatly ate me x oatly ate, ate me yeah marketing is dope <laughs> wow. you got that I here like that um x oatly ate me is not here exclusive it's exclusive, <laughs> it's exclusive on the website but Yes, it okay. is on the website. Okay. okay, okay. Um, this nothing but the turmeric. Okay. Nothing but the turmeric, literally, because that's basically what's inside of it. So it's cool. Okay. Nothing, nothing but, but the turmeric. So then I have the dual action soap, that's which is this, this one, one right here. What, so that's activated before? charcoal with turmeric inside of it. So it's just a swirl method that you do with the soap. It's just like really? styling, and you it's know? got some fragrance to it. So it's that one good. is eucalyptus. Okay. So that so, one has ooh. a eucalyptus fragrance to it. So it's all the like soaps are <laughs> this, bro, coming out of showers. Yeah, right. Everything is Woo. very calming. Everything is very yes, calming. Yeah. 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 And it definitely got adds got you, got a you. nice smooth texture to the skin. Wow. Okay. If you do have psoriasis, it helps with, you mm-hmm. know, your flares for psoriasis as okay. well as, you know, um eczema. Eczema. Yes. Rob, do you know the largest organ in your body is their skin? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yes. So got, my, we got to take care of our skin, <laughs> yes, people. No, we got to right, take care of right. our skin. So one so, of my customers, she has very bad flares when it comes to eczema. And she loves my turmeric soap. Like one time she ordered, she's like, Sarah, I need some soap. Let me know when you got the new batch. Okay. Mm-hmm. I have a question. Yes. You said... If I'm, I'm if I'm listening properly, mm-hmm. you said eczema was for the the oatmeal. The oatmeal. So so why some, the eczema? So depending on because I learned this from that customer. Mm-hmm. So she has eczema, and she said that oatmeal actually flares her up. So she she had to stay away. Okay. So that's why she went with the turmeric, and her skin did so well with it. So now I have another customer who. Oatmeal helps calm their eczema. Mm. So she was just like, oh, yeah, I need that only. Like, exfoliate me, that's what we're going to take. Everybody's different. So everybody's Everybody's skin skin is different. different, And that's something that I learned between those two customers. 
Wow. Because I I, I suffered from eczema when I was growing up. Mm-hmm. And going to the doctor every week, literally, I couldn't roll in grass. Oh, they man. said it was the tree. I, I li- born and raised in Brooklyn. I right. was like, ain't no trees out here. Ain't bro. no trees. So <laughs> it was grass. First it was the trees. <laughs> and then they said it was the heat, mm-hmm. you know, the Brooklyn heat. You know, Different. I had to literally, <laughs> like, literally every night I was scratching wow. flakes. Like, and then it was the cortisone, but the mm-hmm. cortisone had steroids in it. Of course. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So back then there were no, not like all these products right here. So, and I watched one of your, your, your Instagrams mm-hmm. and I like the reels. way, yeah, your reels, <laughs> how you literally just like, I think you said you. Just literally with no makeup and you just went. Oh, yeah. I mean, hello. We, you're going to see step by step. We're going to wash his face and we're going to use this turmeric scrub. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going to wash it off and we're going to do the moisturizing and everything. Because it's like I want my audience to see that at the end of the day, I'm I'm the same as you. You know, right. like I still yeah. Whatever you see on social media, a lot of times it's not real, mm. you know? So it's like a lot of people filter everything. So it's just like at the end of the day, you guys know me. So it's like I want you to know this is the real me and mm-hmm. you're going to see it in my products. There's no need for me to, you know, be very you know particular about what I put on there because at the end of the day, this is something that I want you to know that is working for me and with the condition that I have. So it's like if someone else out there does have adenomyosis or have endometriosis or PCOS, I want them to know that my product is going to work for whatever, you know, ovarian situations you may have. Because it's women. Our bodies produce so much different hormones, you know. And we go through so many different stages of our life where um, our skin could be perfect (laughs) in our 20s and in our 30s. And 40s is completely different. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, you know, it's just a matter of finding the balance and the right things that work for you. She has the DNA of an entrepreneur, bro. Yeah. (laughs) She she, she saw an issue and she said, nah, (laughs) I'm going to, I got to fix it. I mean, that's the definition of entrepreneur. It's just, it takes time, though. It's It's a learning, it's it's a a learning learning process process because we're going to be a year next month, you know? Really? So it's, yes. Yes. We're going to be a year next month. That's what's up. So um, I'm very proud of myself and how far I've come in the year, Mm. you know, and the people that I've met along the way, my customers. Thank you. I appreciate y'all definitely, you know? And it's just the support system is amazing. So I can't. There's nothing for me to complain about. Everything takes time, and mm-hmm. it's just a matter of finding the patience to do so. So, wow, amazing story. <laughs> so now yeah. this is done at home. Yes, for now. For now. Eventually, you factories, know, factories, yeah. and so a, a, a small warehouse. We're gonna do a small ba- warehouse I see it. for now. I see it, Rob. <laughs> Better invest in this thing now, Rob. Yeah, man. <laughs> Get yeah. your eczema yeah. straight now, yeah. bro. Stop playing. Uh, get that is, eczema on point. This is real stuff. This yes. is real. Get this it. Is, I use get everything. This. Like, ever since I started making mm. soaps, I have not purchased mm. soap. Oh, you're not, well, For, yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. But my soaps go through a curing phase. So it's like initially when you make it, you can't use it just yet. They have to sit for four to six weeks. Really? Yes. Like wine? I guess. Okay. So, oh, to, I didn't know that because of the because of the lye that's inside of it. So the lye and the oils makes the soap, but initially is harmful to the skin until it cures, until all the the liquids inside of it dries up. Basically, wow, I did so the, not know that. I though. told you it's chemistry. A, it's, a, <laughs> yo, it's a process to this. It's Joe, a process. Yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> yo, Joe's <laughs> writing notes. He's like, he's like, he's yeah. like yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's a process. <laughs> okay. So a lot of times, like that one customer that I have, she likes a fresh batch. So I had to let her know, listen, I understand you like a fresh batch, but it has to sit for four to six weeks before I could give it to you. Because what kind of person would I be knowing that it's not safe for your skin so soon when you want it, you know? It has to go through that phase because I want to protect you Mm -hmm. and I would hope you want to protect yourself as well, you know? So it has to sit through that and I had to explain it to her and she's like, oh, okay. Well, that batch. I want that batch. (laughs) Right, right, right. So So when you're making this, obviously, Mm -hmm. so there's a process. You got to... 
manufacture four to six weeks ahead of time, pretty mm-hmm. much when you're doing this stuff. Yes. So you've got a lot of this stuff in inventory already. Yes, I already have a lot of stuff in inventory. Yeah. So I actually just made a fresh batch of turmeric soap, and with my turmeric soaps, they are never the same. I go through different moods. You know, we're people. So I go through different moods when I'm making my turmeric. So when I'm making my products, okay. I'm like, oh, let me let me try to drop swirl this week. Mm. So some of my turmeric swir- some of my turmeric soaps may have a little white swirl inside of it or just at the top. Mm. Only because I was feeling I was feeling good. So let's try this drop swirl. It's still the same process, it's just that. The one that's lighter, like the little swirl, the white swirl that's inside of it, I just didn't add turmeric to it. That's all it is. Oh, wow. So it's just a matter of just testing, you know, testing everything out. So who's your crash dummy? Are you? Me and my friends. You and your friends. My friends and family. Yep. Okay. So how do you find, so this is, this is like warehouse, testing lab, everything at Mm -hmm. home. So how has this like helped you in business as far as moving you know like what or like this is full time this is part time soon. and that's to be, soon to be full time oh yeah soon to be full time okay. i want it to be full time yes All right, that's cool. what we're no that's fine you know. because again yeah as an entrepreneur you need an investor right so your job is your first investor yes absolutely remember yes. so we're not telling mm-hmm. people quit your job and- no <laughs> right no gotta, because gotta at sense. the end of the day yeah. who's going to fund the business as right. an entrepreneur. Absolutely. You need to build that business credit. Absolutely. You need to establish everything before you need to establish, you know, your business. Mm-hmm. Meaning like the history of your business before you could get funding for certain things. A lot of times, you know, we're using our own credit as leverage for our business. Right. You know, and at the end of the day, when you first start off, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, but right. if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. You have to give it that history. You have to mm-hmm. let it marinate. You know, give it time. Got to check out that Haitian CEO, shameless plug, episode that we did on business credit. Yes. Get that yes. business yes. credit. Yes, yes, yes. No yes. doubt. Yes. Yes. Get, yeah. Get that. He's always in Texas, there. too. He's always oh, in Texas. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, always, yeah. always listen, I might have to link up with him. Yes. Where you at? Absolutely. He's from Philly, <laughs> so he's, he's always in Texas. Okay, though. that's what's up. Always in Texas. So let's talk about how, how we're getting this word out there with your business. How are you promoting this um, other than Instagram? How are you networking this you just made a move yeah how were you getting it's, this out to the, to ooh, the people out it's there? hard when you are establishing a business in one place and then you move in the middle of your business actually getting there um uh i've been doing pop-up shops all summer when i started my business and Smart. everything and that was a good way for me to get everything out there mm-hmm. um i did my first pop-up shop in january in houston so not even a month in i wow. landed my first pop-up shop in houston and, you know, shout out to my girl, Shelly. So, um, you know, she gave me the opportunity to be one of her vendors. And it was an amazing turnout. You know, it was also her first time hosting a pop-up shop. You know, we're all up-and-coming entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we all sticking together. That's so I was very proud of that just within myself because... If y'all know me, y'all know Sarah be disappearing. <laughs> y'all see, yeah. okay, we met Sarah like one time, and yeah. where did she go? She we, fell yeah. off the face we did of the not earth. See Sarah for, for years. a minute, right? A minute. Yeah. So yeah. I'm good for that okay. because it's just like I just like my space. I like my peace, you know. So having a business made me be more out there, you know. I gotta. How do you feel about that? You myself, you yeah. comfortable with that? We're getting there. Okay. 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 But I put myself in in positions where I have to feel comfortable. If I'm not comfortable about it, I'm not going to do it. Mm-hmm. If I feel too ner- mm, no, this doesn't feel right. And you got to go with your gut, you know? Right. So, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Like I, I see big things for this. This is huge oh, cuz this cuz you know, in the in that world of the beauty world mm-hmm. of black women, billion dollar industry. Billion dollar yeah. industry. Mhm. How do you find your niche? Like, what do you, because you got to be different. Yeah. Definitely. Obviously, everyone here has seen soaps and shea mm-hmm. butter now, you know, big, everything. So, like, yeah. how do you find your niche to say, look, this is needed? See, it's just based off of my story, my history. You know, okay. um, 
a lot of people have turmeric soaps. A lot of people have activated charcoal soaps. Um, I call it Black Widow. That's the one in the black box. Um, black that's strictly, Widow? Yeah. What's that about? Uh, it's, it's all black. It's, <laughs> it's eucalyptus, activated nice. charcoal. I call it Black Widow. Can I open it? <laughs> yes, you could open it. <laughs> It smells amazing. <laughs> it smells amazing. It smells amazing. I'm telling you, you want a good night's sleep? Get Black Widow. <laughs> oh, so this is this night. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Okay, so the cool. eucalyptus, it has calming, you know, nah, properties that's, and everything. Okay. So, okay. Um, <laughs> so. it's, it's, very, it's very hard because, you know, you see everyone else, but you, you see everyone else making it or getting to that point, but they put the time in. And that's something that I had to, you know, see. I had to research. I had to see it, you know. And it's just like I can't compare myself to everyone else. Absolutely. And that's something that, you know, you you start to realize as you're growing as a person outside mm -hmm. of your business, you start to realize I can't do that mm -hmm. because it's not going to get me to where I need to go. It'll just get you frustrated. Right. right. The difference between you and your dreams mm -hmm. is just time. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Don't look at what anybody else is no, doing. Yeah, right. Definitely. The difference between you and your dreams is just yeah. time. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, yeah. right. Talk to us about what else you got here. You got beard oil here? What you Ooh, got going on? I got on? the beard oil for all you healthy beard I told y'all. What did Which I one? say? Which one's the beard oil? What did I say The beard for oil is the smaller ones right here. So with my beard oil. What, what ingredients we got here? What we got? We got a lot of... We got a lot of grapeseed oil. I have something sweet almond oil, castor yeah. oil, fragrance essential oils, and twist of soul. A <laughs> twist of soul. Y'all didn't soul. ask me about the name. Talk, talk, what? Talk to me about this. All right. Dude. So mm. y'all already know I'm a Scorpio. So <laughs> <laughs> so my birthday is November seventeenth. Okay. I'm a hard Just, like go hard Scorpio. Okay. Very go hard. Okay. I feel like when I put well some Scorpios out there, but I'm gonna talk about myself. Whenever I put my mind into something, it's my mind, my body, my soul. Ah. I put 100%. Like, it's 100% me. Like, you're going to get the raw, essential me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, it needs to be soul. Like, so, soul needs to be soul Scorpio. And I'm like, okay. Oh. So wait, you're I'm saying like, that in this bottle is the raw, essential you. Is that what you're <laughs> 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 Wow. Just, fiance, don't be mad. <laughs> This is, this is a podcast, Bruh. fiance. Bruh. Bruh. Fiance, don't be mad. Bruh. We don't mean it like that. Bruh. But <laughs> I do every... All I'm just of my to... products are made with love. Okay. okay. Made with love. Okay. They're all made with love. I took time and effort. These take hours. My soaps take hours to, for me to, you know, prep. So, smells very light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very it's, light. I can try this. Yes, you can definitely. I'm just gonna take Ooh. a few drops. Yes, I told y'all there was gonna be an oil for his beard, <laughs> and it happened. How yes. many? Uh, just a few, a few, a drops. few drops, a few drops, just whatever your heart a few desires. Drops is what you need. <laughs> You can have your fiance, you know. You know, you do a little you massage, a beard massage. You, if my fiance is gonna approve this, I gotta. Let me see. <laughs> you gotta massage it into the hair Jeez. follicle massage. so it could. You know. I'm lit. Wow. It no. good, right? Nah, it's, so. it's, it's good. I'm lit. It's good. All right. Yeah. Cool. Dope. Your turn, Rob. I'm going to put my... Because I don't have a beard. You got a peach fuzz. I got a little peach fuzz. <laughs> you got a peach fuzz. It's Wait, you're wasting the oil. Hold on. Put it back. <laughs> oh. You do nah, not want to waste smells, that. Uh, nah, this smells good. I'm sorry. This smells good. You just it's massage so it into the peach fuzz. Okay. It smells real good. <laughs> Get my grays up. Listen, hey, salt and pepper is the new wave. True, okay. true, true. This smells, good. This, this smells good. this smells good. This smells good. That's what's wow. How much does this go for on the website? So that was my next one. This is 12. Because oh, okay. this is the one ounce. Okay, but this is one ounce. I may, I may, I'm in the process of, I might discontinue the one ounce mm -hmm. um, only because I'm getting a lot of feedback. And we love feedback. Us entrepreneurs love feedback always, about always. our products. Uh -huh. So everyone was just like, does it come bigger? So I'm going to start making it in at least two and four ounces. Of course it comes bigger because everything in Texas is big. It's big, right? Yeah, so <laughs> yes. um, question. Yes. Um, so being in this field, mm -hmm. and you, t you mentioned it, and I was like, okay, I got to ask her this. Time. So, there's a uh, supply and demand. Hmm. 
So now you're putting in the time, you're mm-hmm. putting in your soul, you're putting in everything. Mm-hmm. So now here comes the demand. Right. So you know a lot of the products that start off like this yeah. and they become, you know, the production time cuts yeah. down. Right. And they find a way mm-hmm. to s- certain ingredients get cut out because right. it's, it takes too long. Yeah. Right. So right. That's a good point. How have you have you thought of ways So of- going further, um, I'm only going to make a lot of my products made to order. Okay. So as far as my soaps, because they need that four to six week turnaround time anyway to cure... Those are always going to be in stock because I always need to make sure if my wonderful customer always going to be buying 12 soaps, True. okay, Support. I'm going to make sure that, you know, I have turmeric standing by. I have nothing but the turmeric standing by because that's that's her thing. She mm-hmm. loves nothing but the turmeric. Okay. So I'm going to have to make sure that I always have these soaps, Got you. you know, and soaps is a necessity. Absolutely. We wash our bodies, you know, we wash our face, we clean up with it. Okay. So it's always something when people find out I make soaps, they're like, what? You make soaps? I'm like, yeah, I make soaps. Because initially it's like, I think the when people hear that I make soaps, they're just like, you're so young. So they almost <laughs> think that right. old people make soaps. <laughs> right. But right. I'm like, no, I make soap for the face and the body. <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, so I'm always going to have my soaps, you know, in stock. But everything else will be made to order just so that it could be 100% fresh. Okay, good. For everyone who orders it. Now that there's nothing wrong, oils, there's no expiration date on oils. Mm-hmm. Or if there is, let me know. DM me. Let me know. But I haven't seen any expiration date on oils. That's true. Um. So your shelf life is long. Right. It's, it's like because that. it's a uh-huh. it's a natural oil. No, you know, there's right. there's nah, it smells <laughs> yo, <laughs> can't stop smelling. <laughs> it's, it's really good, very oh. light. I mean, everything has an expiration date. Right. But the shelf life of oils, like I started making my own oils when I was like in my early twenties. Wow. Because I never I don't like lotion. Hmm. You will never say I will never ask you for lotion. Because I don't like lotion. You don't like lotion? I don't like how it makes my skin feel. Got it. Maybe, well, maybe the type of lotion. It's either too dry or too greasy. Uh, I've never used You never soap. use Kerry lotion. I don't like it. It's dry. <laughs> Kerry it lotion. Makes, <laughs> it makes my skin dry. I've used Aveeno. <laughs> I use Eucerin. I use, what's the what's another good Petroleum lotion? jelly? Uh, Petroleum jelly. Too greasy. It's too greasy. It's too greasy. In the summertime, like it. yeah, yeah, it's bad. It's too greasy. It's too True. greasy. Wow. So with my oils, I use all light based oils. Light based oils. Okay. But it lasts a long time. Like my skin mm. is flourishing, guys. True. Check out so, my stories. I'll what, be showing y'all. My skin is flourishing. Yes. What's next for you? Are you gonna uh, continue to grow this product line, or is this the base right now? So this is the base right now. Everything you see on the website. Make sure you go check it out, soulscorpiocosmetics.com. Um, everything you see on the website is what's going to be there. I also do body oils and body butters as well. I couldn't bring my body butters today, but um, yes, this will be the line for right now. Okay. Now, am I going to go into other things? There's a possibility. There's a possibility. Like- Someone asked me about candles. Okay. Yes. I may do candles. Yes, you okay. should. Okay. But I know a great candle, you know, entrepreneur. So maybe you guys um, can do something together. You know, you never know. The cross brand. Yeah, yeah. maybe we could do something. Together. So, for sure. so yeah. do you do uh, these oils? Do they change according to seasons, or they stay or soap? Do they? So I could. There's a possibility. I want to get into dropping certain things based off the season or the uh holiday i want to do that all right that's good so i do have an oil it's not here but i have my brown sugar oil mm. what's that and that about? one is is it, it has that natural brown sugar maple smell to it mm. and it smells amazing so that's mm. like my fall soap okay. but i have it for purchase throughout the whole year because i just love it okay so. and then i have my cocoa bliss cocoa bliss Which one's cocoa, cocoa bliss you, you this got... one right here this is the small one right okay here. and and then this one is my pineapple papaya. It has Ooh. this one has a little shimmer to it. You gotta shake it up. It has a little shimmer to it. So whenever you on a nice. vacation, you throw this on, sun hits you, it starts glistening, ladies. 
So this is mine. You really got to mix it because it settles. <laughs> Would you say, Rob? <laughs> it's glistening all over your vibe. <laughs> it does. It, it gives you that wow. nice little gold shimmer. So really nice. My pineapple papaya. Get that one it's for my Lord. Yeah. Get that one for Beyonce. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. Audi- Audi- I'm y'all sorry, playing man. in the trip? Nah, that one's playing. Yeah, Where yeah, y'all yeah, going? Yeah. Y'all playing in the trip? <laughs> 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 Let me know so I can send that. <laughs> yeah, Imagine man. you take a trip to the beaches, bro. Listen. Your yeah. lady comes out the shower. Massage. And then she puts this glistening. We're going to the beach. Mm-hmm. It's a wrap for you. No, we ain't yeah. going to the beach. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Even better. It's a wrap, no, it's it's a wrap for you. You know what I'm saying, Joe? Even better. <laughs> There's no beach in this about, conversation about to put this right in now. That pocket. Yeah. No. We're going to leave this oh, right here. The children, the children are watching. Sorry, kids. We're going to leave this right here. Okay. Make so, sure your parents are <laughs> present. <laughs> nah, this right here, Joe. <laughs> this right here. Yeah, this is what you want to give to the lady. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> it's Christmas gift for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, as an entrepreneur, how, how has it been? Sleepless nights? I mean, like, uh, talk yeah. because, Ooh, I, you know, you, yeah. you, 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 you're working on a nine to five and then you, yeah. you dive into being an entrepreneur. How's it been? Talk to me. The Sometimes transition. I work my business in my nine to five because it's just like I have this idea and I got to write it down before <laughs> I forget. Yeah. Um, there has been a lot of sleepless nights where I think of so many different variations of soaps and I have like a little book. Mm-hmm. I have like a little ingredient book nice. where I would stay up and I would do research and I'm like, ooh. I'm gonna use this. Ooh, I'm gonna use this. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm. A, ooh, I gotta get that. Mm-hmm. And that's where my turmeric glow butter came into place because I'm like, y'all, I want to do a soap and a butter to match. You know, like a line. I want to. You're do getting a turmeric. Cre- you're getting creative. Right. Okay, creative. So yeah. my turmeric glow butter is what it is. Turmeric glow butter. So it's a body butter. That has, of course, turmeric base in it, but it's not the turmeric that stains. So it's a turmeric body butter, and it has that that pineapple papaya mm-hmm. shimmer to it. Mm-hmm. So you put the body butter on, and hey, we got you know a nice bronze, a nice glow to your skin. Nice, nice. So those type of ideas is what keeps me up at night That's a lot. What's up. You know, That's what's up. initially in the beginning, because it's just like, well, you know that you know that reel where they're just like. I got to figure out how I'm going to make this money. Mm-hmm. And she's like, huh? Huh? I got to figure out how I'm going to make this yeah, money yeah, by yeah. tomorrow. Yes, that's yeah. that's me with the ideas because it's just like they just start rolling in and it keeps you up in a positive way. Absolutely. It doesn't stresses you out, but, you know, it keeps you up. And I'm just like, okay, well, I got to write this down. Mm-hmm. I got to make sure I look into all of these parts, all of these little bullet points. For tomorrow's ingredient, mm-hmm. if I'm for tomorrow's, you know, project, if I'm going to be, you know, making this new soap. Right. That's how the plain Jane came into place, because I'm like, you know, a lot of people do have sensitive skin. There was one person that I'm really good friends with. And, you know, it's a guy. He was just like, you know, I really want to support, but I really have sensitive skin. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to purchase anything. But here, I'm going to donate some money to you. Mm. And that's what he did. And it was it was one of those things that made me feel good because it was just like, I got your support right then and there. And that's it's just up. like, it's so early on that, you know, it's just like, wow, people really do support you. Absolutely. Especially if they know you and they know, yo, I know Sarah is not the type of person that's going to just BS, you Absolutely. know? So it's just yeah. like, I got you, sis. Yeah, yeah. I'm a support. They see the grind. Yeah. That's a great segue. Uh, share with us and talk to us about your your support system throughout this whole process. My friends, my family, um, my friends, definitely. Of course, family supports you. But my friends, my friend went as far as purchasing, a, you know, a content class for me. Wow. To help. That's what's up. To help me with my content creating. Not saying that my content creating is not bad, but we could all we always have room for growth. Absolutely. And it, we're never too young to learn something new and i'm like you know what i don't put as much time into my business page than i do either my personal or everything else so i need to create more content i need to be able to pick up my phone if i'm pick up my phone take a selfie i need to pick up my phone and make sure i show y'all my skincare routine every night absolutely so and that's exactly what i started doing so she's like here nice because i was telling her about i'm like yo there's this content class she's like how much is it 
sending it to you right now. Nice. So it's just like little things like that because it's just like that goes a long way. Y- listen, yeah, that goes a long way. Yeah. So yeah, that's, you that's, know, that's I can't. Everyone, you know, is has been very support. Everybody who knows me knows me has been supportive. You know, I can't count how many people have or anything, but everyone's been very supportive. Family, friends, you know, they're strangers that I've met, mm-hmm. still very supportive as well. Um, so it's just I love y'all. <laughs> Shout out to the family and friends. Shout out yes. to the family and friends. You know what I'm uh, right. I would like to ask you, um, it's Women's Month. Yes. Um, before you get out of here, you know, there's an entrepreneur out there who probably didn't take the jump yet or the leap of faith mm-hmm. to start their business. Right. Woman or not, what would you tell that that entrepreneur right now or that um who who may want to get into that into the field. Do it. The- Do it. <laughs> um, just figure out if this is something that you actually want to do. Because you don't want to start a business. And I'm still new at this. But you don't want to start a business where you're not too sure about whether you're 100% confident about it. You know, if you're not 100% confident about it, don't do it. Because we open up LLCs, S Corp, C Corps, and then we don't do nothing with it. Because it's just it's just not there no more, mm-hmm. you know? Make sure it's something that you're passionate about. Make sure it's something that you know you could be consistent with and you can and you know that you could put a hundred percent towards. True. Um, you know, I've always been into making my own things. I'm a DIY person, mm-hmm. like do it yourself. Right. I will build a whole dresser myself instead of paying a hundred dollars for them to build it because <laughs> <laughs> the screwdriver, okay. Like yeah, it's right. nothing. And yeah, yeah. I and it pleases me to be able, it's like a stimulating thing for me where building this dresser is, it, it will calms me. Let me put my music on. Let me build my dresser. Yeah, you're like, in that zone. Right. Right, right, right. So make sure it's something that you're 100% passionate about, but make sure you legitimize your business. Next step, building that business credit because it's essential, especially once you start your business, mm-hmm. especially if you're in a market where you're selling products you need that business funding true not saying i'm not there yet but we're gonna get there okay (laughs) we're gonna get there because once again you got to create that history that Mm. that business history Mm. and it don't start building until after like two years for sure technically for sure that is true for sure so the one year is the hardest part Mm mm-hmm so we about to be a year next month. So <laughs> we're very proud, you know. I'm That's very proud. Up. There's no doubt in our mind that uh, you're you're gonna make it. You're gonna Thank make you. it. Yeah, it's well. already here. The vision is here. <laughs> I mean, the only advice I have for you is just stay consistent. Yeah, you got it. No, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying you definitely. I battle got it. myself with that all the time with just staying consistent because whether you're working your nine to five, whether you have a a business, you still need that personal time to yourself because if your mental is not right. If your space is not right, your energy is not right, you can't go and create something for someone else. Like, I'm really big on the mental health, the depression, everything. And Mm -hmm. women with our hormones, not taken away from men because men suffer with, you know, mental health as well. But these hormones that these women have that we got is extra. So it adds more fuel to the fire for us. Mm -hmm. So I'm very big on that. If energy... If I don't get the right aura from you, I can't keep you around me. And that's just me as a person as I've gotten older, you know. Right. Um, you tend to really want certain type of people around uh, you. True. Like, true. if you're not a supportive person, why why are you here? Right. Mm. Gem. Big gem. Big gem. Big gem. <laughs> wow. I hope everyone here learned something yes. today. Oh, I'm sure they did. <laughs> yes. Yeah, energy, the, is key. Energy, yeah. is energy is key. Is key. Energy is key. Consistency is key. key. Wow. Sure. Yes. I think it's time for... <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, you didn't know about this. You didn't know about no, this. No, I right did here. not know about so this. So this is called yeah. our special uh, Sock Passe... Uh, uh, okay. I don't even know what it is. Uh, bunch sock of questions. Sock Box? Yeah, Sock Passe Box. Do it opens it. Y'all it, open it. Yeah, it's a random question. Random okay. questions. Now... Oh, oh, it's getting spicy. We have to take it back to the culture, you know. Like, yeah, I know. Right? People get stumped. People get stumped. We'll see if you get stumped. But people, we be, pick well, a, anyone, I'm very transparent these days, so <laughs> we shall okay. see. You right? have to be. You have to be. All right, so I figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's not a good enough question, we'll just have you pick another question. Yeah, but go ahead. Oh, these are small. Who got this small hand right? 
Oh, this is a good one. What's the what are you thankful for? Mm. I am thankful for life. I got to start it off with life. Mm. Because, you know, we I grew up in a church. So, of course, you know, my faith is there. Mm. Um, I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful that I got the opportunity to wake up today, to get on a flight, to be able to be a guest here, you know, to be able to tell people my story. Because a lot of people, they don't know what adenomyosis is. What's that? Right. No, it you sounds, just said a lot. Yeah. Sounds like a whole serious ordeal. Yeah. It is serious. But you can live through it. It's not yeah. like it's life threatening, yeah. you know. Um, there's there's women as young as fourteen going through adenomyosis, and mm-hmm. they don't know what's going on. They first develop their cycles, and mm-hmm. you know, and they need some guidance. There's Absolutely. a big there's a big community out there that I didn't know about until I found out, you know, my diagnosis. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't define me, of course not. So I'm thankful for being able to have life knowledge. Friends, family, and you know my little business. Okay, no, the vision, the vision. <laughs> vision you know, yes, the yeah. vision. Definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely. This is this is really um, nice. Really I pray nice. about it. I you know, and I will continue to do so mm-hmm. because this is me. This is I'm gonna talk about my business. If people ask me what do I do, I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah, it is. Whether I'm making money or not, I'm still yeah, an entrepreneur. Yeah, Simple. Yeah. Yeah. You got and then they like, oh, hey. okay, but that's is that all you do? No, I work a nine to five. And they're like, oh, okay, I'm, yeah. So back to my business. What's up? Oh, no. <laughs> no, you got it. You got it. <laughs> you definitely got it, man. You definitely got it. Look, thank we, you, we, thank we, you. we, 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 we thank you for being transparent and sharing your story. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you definitely inspired somebody I out there. I hope so. I hope so. For sure. We, you inspired oh, yeah. somebody. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Telling your story and being transparent. Yeah. Thank you for coming no all the way from Texas. No yes. problem. To doing, this, to doing this podcast. We no really problem. appreciate it. No definitely problem. Appreciate it. For you guys, so much so. anything. So much so. Yes. So much so. So much so. That's the plug. That's the that's the segue. that's the hint to say that's your hint. favorite word. That's so much word. so hint. that hint. way. <laughs> you may got something. You may got a little something. So, so. A little something. So, so. A thank you, gift. Give, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> now we really appreciate it. It, it means a lot. It means a lot. It means a lot. Okay. It's a little something. Yeah. Something. It's a little something. Just okay. a little something. Okay. Okay, you take well, that. I'm definitely. I'm gonna take this for I'm gonna Beyonce. create a whole reel. <laughs> I'm taking yeah. this right I'm gonna take I'm gonna this for Beyonce. This. <laughs> so when she come out the shower, I'm just gonna put this all over her body. Listen, let me and she ain't you. going nowhere. Ooh, I'm gonna let me take tell this you. for me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> just like right, Joe? Right. Right. Make you sure can you take massage that. it in. I'm gonna take these two, right? <laughs> That's how we do yes, it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, doubt. Yeah, yeah. So guys, definitely follow me. Yes, how, yes how do, please let the people know. Talk, Instagram, talk about I have habits. an Instagram page, um, Soul Scorpio Cosmetics, S-O-U-L, Scorpio, S-C-O-R-P-I-O, Cosmetics, C-O-S-M-E-T-I-C-S. Okay, we're going to try to shorten that a little bit. A little tongue twister. <laughs> but after you get used to it, it kind of rolls off the tongue. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, I'm on TikTok. I don't really do that much TikTok. I'll be trying, but follow me on Instagram. <laughs> the website is the same, soulscorpiocosmetics.com. Um, I am always present to answer any questions that you guys have. If you want to support in any way that you can, definitely open to it. You just want to chat. I'm open to it. I'm an open book to some extent, but I'm here for you guys. Definitely. Um, yeah. And I honestly yes, right. see uh, maybe we could do like a, a team sock by say oil, Ooh, a sock by say oil or something. Let I, I like it. Listen, I'm I'm actually all right. So quick, quick. I like co branding. So yeah, I'm actually gonna start incorporating Haitian castor oil into my soaps. Ooh. So that's one thing that's Tight. gonna be coming big, up big, soon. Big, 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 big. So it's up. just at this point, it's just because it has that thick consistency. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of testing out how it does with all the other soaps, all the other oils. I'm sorry. Mm. So that's what's up. It's one of those things that are is gonna in the works. Very yeah. It's it's gonna have to be perfect, okay. you know. So you so, know we got to bring it back to yeah. We'll, 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 we'll talk about this behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. Random question before you get out of here. We yes. met. Doing doing a kizomba Ooh, class. You still, yes. do, you still do kizomba? No, I don't. But I still have those shoes that I purchased for those <laughs> for that class. Though I yeah, still yo, have those shoes. Yo, 
Why that was years ago. I tried ago. to get this guy in, and he's like, "Yo, Yo bro, Kizomba, Kizomba was Kizomba. fine." <laughs> I'm six five. I am not dancing Kizomba. And there's probably a lot no. of old guys who dance. No, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'll it was. My, I'll listen, my, I don't even I'll think my, when that zook starts night. hitting and you over there nah. by yourself. What sense do you remember? I'm basic one, basic two. <laughs> That's all. I'm, I'm good. good. I'm good. <laughs> no, no what Kizomba. was that other basic one, basic you two? You know the step where it was like one, two, and then you gotta do the the little slide to the bag. What was I that for, called? I, for, I, I mean, I I could do. I forget the name. of It was like one, basic one, basic two. The what? The, 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 it was something. There's it was the Mia the, Volta. Yes, it was that. There was the Mia Volta, right? There's another one with the S. What, what was it? What's it called? What's the Taracha. 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 Really? Okay, I don't remember. Basic one, basic two. Right, but right. listen, I went to. I seen one of his classes. Glad I always had the, the steps, the little hard step. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, sure. I used That's to it. make fun of him all right. the time. Yo. Like, glad just. Lighten up no. on the stepping, like natural with it. He was literally. I was still dancing comp compa, bro. He was bro. stepping. <laughs> he was stepping in kazumba. I'm not <laughs> dancing kizomba. <laughs> but I went to one of his classes, and I and it, it was like just like you know they got the mirror. And I'm looking. I'm like, what is this? Yeah, it's a whole it's a whole dance studio. It was, it was so Joe. The so dude was he was all in. He was like shoulders <laughs> you know, back and forth. Yeah, He's you swinging gotta back, it, yeah. and it's this like face to face. I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> we used to literally hit up Kazumba after work. Literally. Yeah. What was after it, work. Tuesdays? Wednesdays. 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 And then after that, we went to, I think, Social Corner to go practice. Was it Social Corner? Yeah. Or was it before it was called Social oh. Corner? Kiss, Kiss Me Wednesdays. Yeah. 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 Oh, so, man. Yeah. Nah, shout, out to shout out to the Kizomba dancers. Shout out to the Kizomba yes, dancers. Yes, yes, definitely. I, I, I yeah. But um, we are proud of you. Um, Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. I appreciate yes. it. All right. This is just the beginning. Yes, it is. All right. It is. Yes, it is. Yes. close to you. Yes, Rob, housekeeping Thank items. You. Housekeeping items. Team Sock by Say podcast on underneath, <laughs> below, down here. Absolutely. And um, <laughs> Team Sock by Say on Instagram. <laughs> Team Sock by Say podcast. Team Sock by Say podcast show. Yep. Because we're going to invite oh. all these wonderful people, all okay. these wonderful entrepreneurs. Absolutely. And we're going to, we, we see big things. Crazy. We, no doubt. Yeah, no it's, doubt. About, it's about to be lit. It's time. <laughs> it's just time. It's, it's definitely just the beginning. Perhaps we come out to Texas and do something. No, so. you listen. Hey. You know, Houston. I'll take a flight back out. You know, no doubt. Right? No <laughs> doubt. So, yeah, we got, we got to do something out there. And um, yeah. No, this has definitely been this a pleasure. Dope. Thank you so much for having Anytime. me. I Anytime. appreciate y'all. Anytime. Anytime. Back all the way to Kazumba. No doubt. <laughs> no shot. doubt. No doubt. We've known each other for a minute. For sure. So, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. we're a family at this point. Yeah, you know? For sure. So, for sure. For yeah. sure. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Team Sapa say, okay. we out. Oh, yeah.